Us. Very nice PhD defense today. Uh, we've made our evaluation and we've come to a decision. And I'm not going to keep you in suspense. Congratulations. You are now done. <laughs> So Dr. Das, as you know, it's traditional for the committee to read our evaluation report aloud to you. So we'll start with the trial lecture. We approved it, clearly. Um, and this was our assessment. We said the candidate delivered a systematic and professional introductory lecture to machine learning in model-free and model-based control. The outline was well organized and presented. The slides had a good design and the candidate spoke clearly elaborating beyond the content of the slides and kept the time schedule of the lecture. The candidate did a good job to link the topic of his PhD thesis and discussed analogies between the two topics. The candidate also demonstrated that he was able to reflect on the material and pose open questions and draw meaningful conclusions. The candidate was willing to answer questions on the trial lecture topic even if he was not required to do so. The candidate was able to successfully, successfully and confidently discuss the topic during the question and answer period. So well done on the trial lecture tomorrow. <laughs> and I noticed I had made a typo in my document. <laughs> okay, now we go on to the assessment of the presentation in public defense, which was also approved, as you know. The presentation provided a very good overview of selected chapters from the thesis and was presented logically and fluently within a reasonable time frame. The candidate obviously understood the material from an academic viewpoint. The slides were well designed, the results were presented and explained clearly and placed in appropriate context. The candidate also proposed future directions for the research study. The combination of process modeling as well as process control design, estimation and optimization constitute a thorough and comprehensive chemical engineering study. The candidate managed to defend his work in the face of difficult questioning regarding both theoretical and practical points of view. The discussions revealed that the candidate had a good understanding of the idea, methodology, simulation results, and modeling carried out during the research study. The candidate actively discussed all questions during the defense, demonstrating a confident understanding of the material. The candidate defended himself at the level expected of a philosophical doctor. It is our conclusion that based on the quality, novelty, and scope of the dissertation, manuscripts as well as the successful performance during the defense, the candidate should be awarded a Doctor of Philosophy degree. So, congratulations to all. Also, I think we should congratulate Johannes one more time. Yeah. <laughs> Fathering his first doctor student. <laughs> so now, now is the time to 